Hello, here we are and we're back for the next instalment. This time we're going to be building a jobs vacancy page. This will allow the website owner to post a job vacancy and set an expiry date for it. There will be a page with general listings and another page with a more detailed um, position description. We'll also set up a means for the owner to be able to attach a file such as a Word or a, a PDF position description to, to that job vacancy. So let's get into it. First off we need to think about what it, what it is we're going to be building. Basically it's going to be a database table that's all going to come off which will have uh, an ID number, a title, a summary or an excerpt and a full sort of position description. There will be an expiry date field and also some means of attaching files as well. We will make our own plugin which will, will handle all that. In the previous episode we looked at different ways of installing and creating your own plugins. I'm going to do it the easy way and we're going to use the builder plugin, this little beastie here. Okay, let's start setting it up. I'll we'll just click into here. We've got no plugin, so the obvious thing, create a plugin. And I'm just going to call that um, employment. And the author. Me and the namespace. I'm just going to call it Lucid and then select a select an icon. Okay, so I've got a wrench and I'll get a description. Um, page uh, home page format is invalid what have I done well of course wouldn't be complete without a stupid typo would it Okay, so we've now created our our employment. Let's just have a look and see what this has created. You notice in the plugins, there's a new new file folder. Um, this one called Lucid, which is the namespace, and it's done all this sort of stuff for us. So we've got the plugin PHP file, so that's all already set up for us. We've got uh, the namespace is all done for us. The uses the system class plugin base and extends on that. And we've got register components, register settings. We have a YAML file with um, information about the the plugin, so we can cha change all that. And um, let's go away. Um, and we've got language translations. We can add, um, you know, multi-language support if we so so lot so desire. And the updates, we've got the version. So this is our initial sort of version file. And classes is is, is empty at the moment. So already just just by doing this simple thing, we've got quite a lot of things already sort of up and up and going. Just added some stuff here to um, save you watching me type things out. I've just added an ID, so you can add an ID here, and this will automatically create it of the right type. So it's an integer, it's unsigned, auto increment, and also makes it a primary key. Um, next thing we probably want is a title for our job, for our position description. Um, so that's a type string, and we're making that nullable. Um, slug, so we can find it, make that nullable as well. Um, <coughs> excerpt is in text, also nullable content, which is the text of the long description of a job, the expiry date, which is nullable, and I've got an is published as well, 
and might as well add um, timestamp support while we're at it. There we go. And save that. You'll see here it's come up with a um, migration, it's sort of added to that um, YAML file and it's created like a migration with all the, all the things that we're after. Um, save and apply and it'll add that to the database. And if we look at our database, we'll see there's a new table down here that's been, been created. If we look at the structure of it, here we go. So it's even given us the 191 character limit things, which is a, a feature of Laravel. And if we look at what we've got, nothing in it, of course. Now if we look on our lists and click plus here, it'll automatically create a file called col columns.yaml on there so we can use that on our on our back end so let's just add all the database columns at the moment we'll probably take a few of them out later actually we don't need that blank one there so let's delete that We need another YAML file for our backend form, so let's do that. So this is the fields.yaml, and we can start adding things into here. So let's start with um, text, and the field name will be title. Let's see, it's already brought it up here for us. And we'll give it the name. Title. This one here will be the slug, which will also be text. And start doing the field name there. Yes, it's found the slug. We'll call that slug. Now here's a nice little trick that we can do. We can make um, Winter actually automatically create a slug for us. So if we go down to the advanced part here, to the preset, it's going to base it on the field and the type is going to be slug. Okay, so we've now done slug. We'll bring in our excerpt. And that's going to be a um, rich text widget. So there we go, rich text editor. And field name is going to be excerpt. Find that. size make that large and comment put comment on it we'll call that um, call it the short summary and span make that span across the whole page Uh, excerpt and we'll do the same deal for the long uh, where are we rich text editor and uh, it's content we'll just call that text and we'll make that one huge and span that across the full width as well. Now, a couple of other little fields to add. 
going to be our expiry date. Here we're looking for a date picker there. And expiry. Um, yeah, date and time. It's, it's good. And the other one we want to add here is the switch for whether or not it's published. I just need to. Here it is. It's published. And. Let's save all that. Next part to look at is our permissions. I just tend to leave this blank. Now move on to back end menu and we'll add our main menu item which is going to be our um, icons going to be the wrench there it is and we'll leave that URL blank at the moment because we need to add that with our controller so let's save that part move down to our controllers add our controller I'll just call that job controller it's based on the model job and the active menu item will be the will be called menu item and we'll need a list controller and a form controller We can pretty much leave these um, to that to their blank settings at the moment. Now back up to our menu is our menu item, and let's start typing in here and see what, see if it finds it. There it goes. Lucid employment job. And save that. And let's refresh. See, we've got a good menu item up here. So we probably need to fix that. Go back to our back end menu and Save that. Refresh, and we've now got job vacancies. If we click on that, create, and here we go. What have we got? We've got a job, so we, we've got, um, I don't know, create a driver. Notice the slugs sort of turned up there, then we can add our in there, our, our text there, date picker, um, do it at the end of the year, and you can even do a time, make it 1700 hours, yep. Mm -hmm. We look at our um, database now. We've now got our got our job there. Now we're nearly there. Just got one more thing to add for our back end to make it make it work, and that's attaching our position descriptions. Right, back to our builder. 
to our models, fields, go all the way down to here, add a control. There's already one nicely sort of set up for us. Where is it? I just gotta find it. It's the file upload. Now we'll give it the name PD and we'll just leave the rest of it as is and save that. Actually I might just change that name to attach PD, so attach position description and save that. Now the reason I've used PD is simply because uh, of this here, this attach one. So now let's see what we've got. If we go to our job vacancies, we'll create our a new vacancy. Do our friend the greater driver again. Greater driver. Um, end of the month. Um, time 1700 hours. Yep, it'll do. We'll publish that. We'll upload a file to that. There's a sample job description. Create and close. Okay, so now now we see here we've got our um, grader driver. We've got um, the expiry date that's published. Now if we look at um, what's happened in the database, we have in the, just got to find the list of employment jobs. We've got our database thing here. And also in our system files, we have it attached here. So the sample job description, it's an application PDF, the model that it's attached to. And so the, it's all there and ready to go. So there we have it. We've got the builder plugin and we've used that to create our own plugin for job vacancies. We now have a listing of the vacancies and we can go in and create, update and edit the vacancies as well. The other sort of nice little thing with this too is if you um, go back to here and delete this, this will also delete the associated file that you've got uploaded with your position description, which is very nice. I mean, let's just have a look at look at this and update that. It's empty again. So all very nicely, all very nicely put together and not nice and easy to do from the back end. And what's better is that um, this you know, can provide a great little um, tool for clients as well. Thank you for watching and hope you got something out of it. Like, subscribe and leave a comment if you so desire. And um, we'll see you in the next video.